What's up guys, it's George, and in this video I want to share with you the secret to quitting weed permanently. <laughs> the easy way to quit smoking pot. Well, the thing is, the reason why most people struggle with quitting weed, and they go back and they relapse it, which I understand, I relapsed a million times, <laughs> smoked for most of my life, and, uh, and yeah, and it was a challenge quitting weed, and the reason why was because every time that I tried to quit weed, I always saw it as a sacrifice. I felt like it was something that I was giving up. That, oh, you know, I'm not smoking anymore. And, and uh, you know, I would do 30 days cycles. Sometimes I would just say, ah, oh, you know, I'm just gonna go 30 days without it. Um, or, uh, you know, I would, I would say, you know what? Don't quit smoking weed. And I would, I would miss it because uh, I would feel like it was a sacrifice. And the reason why this time I've been able to quit weed and to stay quit weed is because I have completely changed the way that I look at weed. I have changed my relationship with marijuana, I've mastered marijuana. <laughs> rather than me being, uh, rather than marijuana being my master, now I'm the master. And see, uh, now instead of, instead of looking at, uh, at quitting weed as a sacrifice, See it as a privilege to be able to become the absolute best version of yourself. See it as a privilege to, uh, to have b more stable emotional health. See it as a privilege to, uh, to become a more confident version of yourself. See it as a privilege to be able to develop new neuro connections and learn how to relax without needing to get high. How to, as a, see it as a privilege to be able to go to sleep without needing, needing to smoke before going to bed. See it as a privilege to be able to go to the movies without needing to get high. You know, you can relate. I used to have to smoke before everything. I couldn't even go to the movies. You know, I had to get high before I went to a movie, before everything I did. And, uh, and an exercise to do, to, be, to begin to, to create this switch in your brain is to get out a piece of paper or a document on the computer, on your phone, your tablet, whatever. What I want you to do, is uh and write down all the pros and the cons about weed um, and quitting weed so write down uh uh you know all the all the things that are great you know about about marijuana you know all the pros well you know it helps me relax uh you know you know marijuana um helps me to de-stress with the children. Um, it helps me to sleep better. Go through and write down all the pros. And then, on the other side, write down all the cons. All the negatives of smoking weed. Well, you know, I, uh, how much money it's costing me. You know, it costs me $500 a month or whatever it's costing you. Um, it's, uh, it's giving me more, more anxiety. I don't like con, other con. I don't like the feeling of being addicted to something. Um, uh, I don't have as good as willpower when smoking. Um, it's killing my social life. It's making hard for me to date. Whatever. You write down, this is all individual. And then, um, after, this is all the pros and cons of marijuana. Now do the pros and cons of, uh, of life without weed. And so, um, uh, you know, the, the con, I'm sorry, the pros, you know, all right, let's start with the con. You know, say for example, the cons of life without weed. Well, you know, one of the, the negative parts of quitting weed is that, um, you know, I won't be able to smoke with my friends anymore. Um, uh, you know, another con is, you know, I won't, uh, you know, I won't have, uh, you know, that, you know, after work smoke or whatever. You write down all the cons. I think the negative parts about quitting weed, what's negative about it. And then write down all the pros, all the benefits and the positive things about quitting weed. Well, if I quit weed, then, uh, you know, I'll be able to, I'll have more energy, so I'll be able to work out harder. If I quit weed, I'll have more control over my diet. Um, if I quit weed, another positive thing is um, that, you know, I'll save a lot of money, hundreds of dollars every single month. If I quit weed, I'll uh, be more present with my children or whatever. You go through. And so you do this, two sheets, have one for, uh, you know, all the pros and cons of smoking marijuana, and then all the pros and cons of, uh, of, of, of quitting weed and life without weed. And take some time and go through this. And, and what you'll most likely see is that there is a lot more benefits in living life without weed. And that there is uh, a lot more pros and, and, and you'll, you'll most likely notice that the 
positives outweigh the negatives when it comes to living life without weed. And you need to save this piece of paper, this journal entry, this document, so that you can go back to it from time to time. And then uh, another, maybe like tomorrow or the next day, go down and write a, a, a journal entry about why you want to quit smoking weed. You know, really get down to the why. You know, why do I want to do this? Why do I want to quit smoking weed? I want to do this so that I can become the absolute best version of myself, so that I can, you know, get into the best shape of my life. Da -da -da. You know, just pour your heart out. And then what I want you to do is to think about all the things that smoking weed will cost you. If you don't quit weed and you keep being a chronic pothead for the rest of your life, what is it going to cost you? You know, journal about that. Do a whole separate document on that. What is the, what will this habit cost you? You know, this will cost you becoming the best version of yourself. Maybe it'll cost you beautiful memories with your family because they'll be so high you don't, you know, remember all the memories. <laughs> um, but think about all the things that it'll cost you. And in, in what you want to do is, is in doing all these exercises as you want to start, to, your brain will start to see the, uh, the demon for what it is and all the pain and the agony that, that marijuana has caused for you. And, and what I really recommend doing, especially, uh, you know, for the first 30, 60, 90 days, 90 days, is to journal every single day about uh, what you're going through. You're feeling, remember, reread your whys, the pros and the cons. Because what you're doing is you want to, you're, like I said, you want to shift your brain so that you see marijuana in a different light. Rather than thinking it is this great thing, you know, getting high, baby, and uh, you know, no worries, man. You want to see it for the demon that it is. All the problems that it's costing in you in your life. You want to see, you want to be reminded all the cons, all the negatives that this is causing for you in your life. And if you do this and you keep re-looking at it, and you keep, uh, then in time, they say it takes 30 days to form a habit, 90 days to make it a lifestyle. That's why I say you should keep looking at these documents every day for 90 days, journal on every day for 90 days, because then all of a sudden you'll make it a lifestyle. And at the same time, be uh, working on yourself to improve yourself. Exercise every day, hitting the gym, eating healthier, doing all kinds of good things in your life to, to be proactive in improving, improving your life. And what'll happen is that you'll start to realize life without weed is so much better. You got more energy, you're sleeping better, uh, you know, you, you form the new neural connection so you learn to have fun without it. And uh, you can start to see, you know, you'll, you'll probably find you're more clear, you're more present, you're able to meditate better. You know, you can, you'll learn how to watch TV and watch a movie again without needing to get high just to watch TV or a movie. And you'll save money, knows your wallet getting thicker from not saving, uh, wasting money on pot. And, uh, and what'll happen in time is you'll change the way that you look at it. And that really is the simplest way to, uh, the secret to quitting weed for good, is to change the way you look at it. Instead of seeing it as a sacrifice, to see it as a privilege, to let go of this anchor that's holding you back so that you can become the absolute best version of yourself, which you absolutely do deserve to, to become the best version of yourself. And to see, you know, just how far you can take this thing called life. So with that being said, guys, until next time, have a great day, great week, a great month, a great year. Let's make it a great life, baby. See ya.